plant medicine and the apocalypse. It's already happened. Somebody took plant medicine and the world died. And I have biblical proof for this. Genesis. Satan, who is a fallen angel, actually an archangel, rebelled against God and deceived Eve, Adam and Eve, first created beings, human beings on earth. Beloved of God, perfect in the eyes of God. Adam walked with God in the cool of the day. So you ha he had to be perfect and Eve. And because when you walk with God, if you see God and live, that means you have to be perfect. You have to be pure, holy, clean, set apart. Eve was deceived. There was a snake, a serpent, this one, the fallen one, Lucifer, and because he went from, I'm sorry, he, Satan, because he went from Lucifer, the bringer, bringer of the light, to the fallen Satan, the accuser of the brethren. And then afterwards, after the rebellion, God made man. And Satan pretty much hates all people, good people or bad people. He say, hates everyone because we are made in the expressed, expressed image of God. And at this time, uh, actually, God loves us and there's mercy so that we can be reconciled between him and God. Satan and God, there's no reconciliation because Satan knew what he was doing in the beginning. So back to plant medicine. Uh, Eve was deceived. The line, uh, I believe it goes, uh, Satan was talking to Eve. He should have known at that moment, like, talking to a snake, dude. <laughs> this isn't right. But anyhow, goes on, hey, Eve, eat the forbidden fruit. Girl, you're, you're going to be like God. Your eyes will be open. You'll know good from evil. And surely you will not die. Because God said, on the day that you eat uh, the tree from the knowledge of good and evil, you'll know good and evil. And on the day you're going to die. Obviously, they didn't drop dead in the moment, but they were separated from God. And sin, sin is to miss the mark. It is, it's, to, it's not to be in the perfection of God, which they were doing, because they followed after Satan's suggestions. Eve was deceived, and she was lured into it, and Adam willfully did it. So we are their offspring. So we inherited the problem. So what I see going on in the whole plant medicine movement, and it's new age shaman, you know, and I'm not saying everyone in there has evil intent. They have, they have good hearts, but you're getting sold a, a bill of goods that's a lie. It is a plant, again I'm hearing, e, drink ayahuasca, do DMT, You'll be your, your, your mind will be expanded and surely it will be good for you. There are angels, and they're cool, you're allowed to be around them, and there are demons, and you just don't want to tangle with them, I've been around them, don't like them. We all get influenced by them, and we will all, pretty much eventually, we're going to wind up, we're going to wind up the next life after death. And it's either real good or real bad. And the ayahuasca and the DMT and all this stuff, it ain't going to fix you. It's like taking poison water and trying, trying to filter poison water with poison water, trying to get clean water. It just doesn't work. It's, Jesus is an outside source. You know, here's the deal. This is the God. This is the good news. Everyone's jacked up. That's you know, boo. That's why everyone's trying to get healed. The inner healing, shadow work, integration. You know, higher self. And that's a desire of our heart to be made whole, which is cool. But getting it from this earth and this realm ain't gonna happen. And even if you do go into another realm and you don't get it through Jesus, which becomes a very difficult becomes a very becomes a stumbling block for a lot of people they're like I hate Jesus is he's not the truth the life and the way look at the church they've done so much wrong blah 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 okay true enough but just because someone's abused something even drugs I'm not saying all drugs are evil 
I'm just saying if in the hands of a doctor, a physician, after it's been vetted and researched and blah, 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 fine, use it. But from a street corner or being going to one of these shaman churches where shaman Bob's dosing you heavy trying to meet God, I'm like, good luck with that. You should know the name of Jesus just in case you need a parachute or a fire extinguisher when something weird is going down. And you can do that. Don't do the drugs, but if you wind up in a weird place, it's the name of Jesus calling them. It's just after he gets you out of the jam, you're going to have to follow him. Otherwise, you know, again, I go back to eternity. You go into another realm, you can meet other things. There's Satan. You know, dude, he runs this whole show. He owns the earth. He And he that's why he's able to get away with deceiving so many, because you take the plant and you think you're meeting God, it's just, it's the good side of Satan. He's like, oh yeah, girl, I love you, sure. I know you're drunk, but I'll love you in the morning. Your guy, it's like, oh, trust me, brother. I will show you the way. I am the enlightened being. I will never lead you wrong. Boom, you just wind up miserable, never at peace, never in a loving relationship with God and man without doing a drug ceremony, whatever, you know, there's no hoops, you know, you always have to jump, jump through a hoop. Whereas with Jesus, you go into these other realms and Jesus will talk to you sober minded. You don't have to do a drug. You don't have to do anything. It's by faith that works through love in his name. You call on his name and then you listen because if you're even listening to this video, that means that God's actually already drawing you. Nobody comes to God unless they're drawn by his spirit. That means you're actually hearing him. It's not probably going to be audible. It'll be an internal voice. It'll be a, an, a restlessness in your heart because our hearts are restless until we rest in him. He is looking to give you rest peace, love, joy. It is one name under heaven by which all people will be saved. And that's the name of Jesus. Because he's the reconciliation. He's the payment. He's the public defender that has pled our case to the Father. And it is now the wrath that was poured out for us has been poured out on him. So we are, so we don't have to pay off our own sin. It's with the joy of the Lord that we work out our salvation. It's in fear and trembling, like not because like he's gonna beat us, but it's like, dude, I, I almost got smoked. I almost OD'd. I'm not dead. I'm not a mess. I'm okay with God. Let me love God with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. Let me love my neighbor as myself. And if I'm not loving my neighbor, help me, Lord, to love you and to love myself so I can love my neighbor better. And let your joy, his joy, be my strength. And that's what he will do because he will give us a new heart, a new spirit that is with us forever, 24 seven, leaving the nightlight on for you. And it's, uh, that's the gig. So plant medicines already botched the deal once. Don't do it again, run away, run towards God. Ask him, even if you come at him with an attitude like, dude, who are you? What's this all about? I'm feeling bothered by this. That's maybe his conviction talking to you. Conviction isn't like you suck. It's more like, dude, you need to pump your brakes. The bridge is out and you're heading down a dead end. There's a cliff. That's conviction. He calls us from sin into righteousness, which is right standing with him. And it ain't nothing but fun. That's how the, the law and the prophets have been fulfilled in Jesus and in Jesus, with Jesus, in our hearts, by love, we fulfill all the laws of the prophets and the rules and regulation because there's only two things that count in this universe. Those are his rules. Love God, love Jesus with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself because love is the fulfillment of all the law and right. It's all righteousness fulfilled. So you don't have to dose, you don't have to chant, you don't gotta do nothing except say, hi God, how's it going? Let's talk. So there's my rant for today. If you wanna be a vegetarian, fine. But don't try to save your soul by doing a dose. Doesn't, doesn't work. So with that, questions hit me up. Answers, play kind and we can chat. 
Catch you next time. Bye.